Hello guys. Today is going to be about um, shut off valve for a TDI in case of uh, engine runs away. Run away. I mean, I invented this valve. This um, bracket right here. I bend it, weld it, and do like a bottom bracket and bolt it to the bottom of the. You can see the throttle body. The throttle body already has those two bolts in there two holes for bolts so I use it to mount my bracket there's a coupler right here to two uh two inches to three two to three this is how I connect it on the back like regular you know I wire it I mean like a regular folk lights so this Volkswagen starter solenoid I invent this bracket bolt it here with those three bolts you can see on the back I don't know if there's enough light to see it but let me see See, there's uh, there's one, two, three bolts. I bolted there. And what this thing will do is, as soon as I click it in, from inside, I have, a, I have a button, it will release the spring. You see? So whenever you wanna return it back, you just go like this. It will be tight, cause this is, I, I mean, this will really seal the, the intake. No air at all will pass through. You see, um, that's how it works. I got, I forgot. This is a VR6 OVD1 throttle body. So it's a three inch. Already has the spring loader uh, return thr throttle body. So it will completely seal the intake. You see that spring, that little, um, how do you call that little, uh, I did a, like a little stopper for the, I did like a little wire stopper or something so it can stop the solenoid it come from coming out see there is that little wire anyways so we're gonna we're gonna fire up and uh, show you guys guys how this work okay gonna, let me put you guys right here I don't know if you're gonna be able to see I might not. Let me see if I can put you guys here. Uh, nope. Hold on. I'm going to find you a nice spot. How about this right here? Huh. It is there. Let me see. Okay. There it is. So I'm going to put you, I put the light right here so, so you guys can see. Um. But look at the, the light. I'm going to put them right here. I don't know if you, can, you guys can see here. See the solenoid. Maybe like this so it doesn't fall down. You see? Ah, it's too bright. Maybe there. I don't know, but you will see the, you will see the, uh, oh, steel blur from back here. There you go. Let me put you guys here. Okay. Check the, check the, um, the solenoid. Check the solenoid. It will move. So I will count. One, two, three. See? I click it several times so you guys can see how this will work. So we're gonna release this, cock it like that, and I'm gonna go inside, fire the car, fire up, and activate it by hand. I'm gonna release it back, leave it like that. And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring you guys inside the car. 
to see so you guys can see how this thing works okay so here's the button right here open the switch fire up um, there's my cluster my alternator it's charging but anyway look um, this card uh, well, what we want to is show you guys right here. I'm going to see if I can turn this here. So, look. Uh, look at my finger. Look at the RPMs at the same time. So, I'm going to rev it up. And look, without touching the key, look how this is going to work. I'm going to push it and I'm going to count. So, look at the RPMs. One, two, three. See? See? And it won't start back. It's tight, airtight seal. Look. Look at the RPMs. Here we go again. We have to go outside and uh, release the, um, the trigger. See? There you go. Now we'll start. Watch. So check it out. There she is. So I mount it here separ separately from the ignition switch so I could turn it off whenever I want it. Look at that Volkswagen sign in there. So, there she is. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.